right, folks, um, we're back. Uh, we're back. And you might notice that you can actually hear me now. Um, I have discovered that DOSBox will record independently and I can record all my audio on a, on a completely different channel. So uh, this is fantastic. I no longer have to mush everything together uh, in one channel. So this will be a lot more professional sounding. Um, and at the end of the last session or a section or whatever, I'm, I, I was completely stuck. I have no idea what to do. Um, I just got the golden needle from a haystack and then I got a cloak in return. Don't ask me how that happened. Then I have a honeycomb wand that does not work and a custard pie for no, uh, I don't know what for. So actually, uh, surprisingly, I had a couple of people write to me to uh, tell me what to do next. And they were very nice not to give me any kind of spoilers and tell me everything I need to do because I like to, you know, I like to remember as I go. You know, I'm, I'm playing this almost fresh again. So my hint was it was in the desert and I have to go to the temple and hide, he said, and then something will happen. Oh, there's oh, nothing at the desert nude. We should be used to this by now, uh, Cedric. <laughs> God. All right, so let's grab uh, some nectar of the gods. Ah, life-giving water. water. Ah, nectar of the gods. Okay. Um. So where do I hide, and why? They were kind of mum on that. the desert sands, Graham can hear the sound of approaching hoofbeat. Ooh. Okay. Um. Can I hide behind a the rock? The rocks look interesting, but too large to do anything with. I didn't want to pick him up, you douche. I want to, um... Like, Bye! Get him! Oh, uh, what? Uh, Never trust what? a bad guy, Graham. I didn't trust him at all! He came right across the desert and slit my fucking throat! Why was I a spy? I don't understand what just happened. <laughs> Alright, well, let's make that long, interesting trek again. I call upon you, skip a medic <laughs> Come on, Graham. All right. We're back. We're back. We made it again. I'm going to grab my Nectar of the Gods, and this time we are going ah. to save. And now I know why I need to hide. And it didn't seem like... I, I, I guess I just didn't make it behind the rock in time. So we're going to go there now. Uh, no, Graham. They can see you, dude. There's like two pixels of my hat sticking out From here, so let's the hope the bandits stands, are not this Graham observer. Graham can hear the sound of approaching hoof hoof beats. Yeah, we know. All right, so let's wait here and cross our fingers, folks. <gasps> yeah, I'm alive. Okay. Open sesame. What? What is this weak reading bullshit? Open sesame. Did they just... Did they just grab whoever they could around the Sierra offices that day to do voices for their stupid game? Open that to me. It's like Chad from the mailroom apparently is now doing voices for Sierra Adventure Games. Okay, so um, now what? I guess now I'll head down to the bandit camp, which is uh, appears to be one, two over, and then a bunch down. So we will do that now. That voice acting game just. Ugh, it blows my mind. Why would you spend all the time and effort and expense of making a game like this and didn't blow it by having just random people... See, I've done voice acting before and it's not that difficult. I mean, shut up. I'm just getting, I'm just getting upset. Alright, so we will continue to the Vanda Camps. And then maybe we could see what all that uh, hoopla was with the temple door. As oh, it's crowded. Uh, okay. Um, it's going to be very hard to be stealthy with this much activity going on. But I am going to try and waltz over and steal some of their nectar ah, of the gods. Life-giving water. Nectar, nectar of, of the, the gods. gods. Graham can now feel. All right. With our nectar of the gods fill, we can move. Graham. Graham, put the spoon down. Thank you. 
All right, so let's... I'm not going in that tent because somebody stabs me whenever I go in that tent. So, oh. Okay. Um, I guess I just have to move really slow. And I'm going to grab this uh, staff of Ra over here. Taking care to be very quiet. <laughs> Raiden reaches out and takes the staff into his possession. Oh, that's a nice touch. The narrator is whispering. All right, let's move... You know what? Just just for shits and giggles. Wake up! Who are you? A spy! A spy! <laughs> Go! That wasn't yeah, it's a very a smart spy. move for Graham to make. <laughs> oh, Gomer Pyle, the Arab. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, um... So I have the Staff of Ra, which I need to open up the temple door. I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to see if I can't frisk the unconscious dude for some money. Phew. I don't think it's that kind of game. Holding his nose against the drunken bandit's pungent odor, Graham quickly searches him, but doesn't find anything of importance. Damn. You figure I... I oh, never mind. Um, can I use a camel the to get out of here? would notice if the camel was disturbed. They didn't notice me walking around here stealing their staves and drinking all their water. I wouldn't miss a camel. All right, so let's, um, all right, so there's another oasis, uh, one to the right and then three up. So let's go there. We'll get our fill of Nectar of the Gods and then we'll go back to the temple and we can open her up. <laughs> Grab some Nectar. Ah. Nectar of the gods. All right, so now we will enter the Indiana Jones 3 temple with the staff of Amon Ra. Uh, let's uh, save here real quick. All right. But thank. Open sesame. See, he can say it properly. Not this open sesame, but oh. Oh, no. Hey. The staff broke. I what kind of a cheesy-ass plot contrivance is that? You broke my staff, you son of a bitch. Hey, 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 All right, now, I'm guessing this is probably some little uh, lesson in greed. Hurry, I... the exit door is about oh, to close. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, grab... What? Oh. Cheer up, Graham. At least oh. you can practice your game of All right, so I'm sorry, people. I can't expose for very long... When I enter the temple, I have to go. Apparently, there's a time limit. I thought I saved at least. God damn. Open sesame. All right, anyway, so I'm guessing my point is still valid. So if I touch oh, anything no. besides... Oh, uh, yeah. Cedric will be upset. So if I touch any of the glitchy stuff over there, I'm going to get myself killed. So Bending I'm going to grab down, this Graham coin hurriedly on the picks ground. up the gold coin from the temple Very floor. Very hurriedly, apparently, and then I'm going to Quickly, grab this Graham uh, grabs jar. the old brass bottle. The old brass bottle. And then we're going to get the fuck out of here. All right, so... That was close. I am hoping that's all I needed to grab in there, because I sure as hell am not getting back in. I the can staff probably take the rest of the staff. and is of no use anymore. Bullshit! The head is fine! You can put that on a stick. I, I mean, if... If nothing else, it's worth a couple of bucks on the open market. All right. Um, so let's see what I came out of there with. I have uh, a gold shiny coin, gold coin. A shiny gold coin, no less. This is than an old, a tarnished brass bottle. Old, tarnished brass bottle. Um, can I... Huh? Oh, Dude! A genie! Now you spend Sweet. the next 500 years in a bottle. Huh? Hey! Graham should know better than to keep things bottled up inside. Oh. Mm, I just found the most vindictive genie ever. No, sir. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again, sir. I am fog proof. Which going? Which back? <laughs> 